can't believe how callous Jack can be about his sister. Neighbor, you can't go walking around without insurance. Insurance? That's right. Insurance. Personal protection, am I? You hand over everything you got in their pockets, or accidents start happening to you. Be bloody accidents. What do you say? You ain't one of us. Remember me? No, I didn't think so. That's the problem. You think he's fucking in his love me? You didn't love any of us, you selfish jumbo. Now, it's time to pay. A new player in good name. Hello, why'd you have to go Welcome to the game. Fools, all of you! Attack my robot children! Destroy these interlopers! The robots are advancing, and our weapons have been confiscated. So, fisticuffs it is then. And furiously fluid footwork! hi -ya! By order of our master, the mechanist, you will be destroyed. Silver do good on its feet ahead there. Yeah, that's right. I'm up here in the rafters. I'm your eye in the sky. I saw where the mechanist went. He's in that office up the stairs. I hear Bobby well Nono done, is heroic. Head. Oh, a cat. Your adjusted oh, attitude has made allies of us all. We shall. Free from the petty squabbles. <laughs> I 
child for Rex. I was wondering how long it would take your blood ounce to track me down, Winlock. It's been almost three months. Don't tell me you're getting rusty. Should we yes, take this outside? It, it ain't like that. I'm just Who here to deliver a message. God, I left the gunners for good. The yeah, wrong, I heard. The but you're still taking than... jobs in the Commonwealth. That yeah, isn't going to work for us. I don't take orders from you. It all makes sense. Not anymore. <laughs> so why don't you take your girlfriend and walk <laughs> out of here while you still can? In that what? <laughs> Winlock, tell me we don't have to listen to this shit. He was... Listen up, <laughs> McCready. The Just only reason we haven't robots. filled your body full of but bullets is that we don't want a war dead. with good neighbor. <laughs> See, we respect you other people's boundaries. We know how to play the game. Endeavor. It's something you never papers. learned. Glad to have disappointed you. <laughs> you can play a the tough guy sham. all you want. But if we hear you're still operating trail. inside gunner territory, all bets are off. <laughs> yes. You got that? You finished? Yeah, it was. We're finished. Come on, bud. Ruined it all. But what happens Look, now? Buddy, you're freaking <laughs> about the atom or looking for a friend. I need a doctor. And you got the wrong guy. You need a hired gun. Then maybe we can talk. Hey. Look, lady. If you're preaching about the atom or looking for a friend, you've got the wrong guy need a hired gun, then maybe we can talk. Maybe. Why don't you tell me who those guys were first? A couple of morons looking to climb the ladder of success by stepping on everyone else on the way up. Shouldn't be surprised, though. That's how it goes when you run with the Gunners. Never heard of the Gunners. Who are they? They're one of the biggest gangs in the Commonwealth. Got a rep for being crazy. You know, so tightly wound, you think they were a cult or something? Stuck with them for a while because the money was good, but it never fit in. That's why I made a clean break and started flying solo. Now what about you? How do I know I won't end up with a bullet in my back? Are you always this suspicious? Hey, you approached me. And frankly, I'm taking a huge risk being out here in the Commonwealth in the first place. So I'm not about to leave anything to chance. Which brings me back to my original question. Can I trust you? Hold on. What kind of risk are you talking about? I already told you way too much. I need to learn to keep my big mouth shut. Look, I'm tired of playing 20 questions. So I'll cut you a deal right now. 250 caps. Up front. And there's no room for bargaining. What do you say? Everything's negotiable. Would you take 200? You drive a hard bargain. But you just bought yourself an extra gun. All right, boss. Let's get out of here. a hundred miles if I knew there was a pile of caps waiting for me at the end yes yeah huh. excuse me miss hmm well what's the matter sweetheart don't tell me you didn't like the song I've never heard that song before. Who wrote it? I did. Everything I sing is an original. Now there's something special about you, isn't there? Don't tell me. Let me guess. It's your eyes. Quick and... intense. I bet you never miss a detail, hmm? <laughs> you like what you see? So what brings a woman like you to my part of town? What do you think? We're all trying to forget something, are we? I think you and I are gonna get along. 
So it's my turn to answer questions, right? What can I do for you? Do you know Imogene Cabot? Imogene? Sure. I know her. I haven't seen her in a while, though. Were you a friend of hers? I just need to talk to her. Hmm. Why are you looking for her, honey? I'm trying to help her. Do you know where she is or not? I don't consider it polite to gossip to any stranger who wanders into the club. Now, if you'll excuse me. Lady, I need to be a lot more high or a lot more drunk to be bothered right now. Magnolia. Hello again. Something I can do for you? I wouldn't mind hearing another song. All right. I can try another tune for you. Excuse me. Sweet pit boy, sister. You hold on to that. Peace, sister. Hi. Hey. Hey. Yeah? Magnolia can really sing. Only reason I come here. That to get wasted. Hey. What's up? Hi. What's on your mind? Baby, it's just you. Your thoughts? Man, I could really use a cigarette. That's all for now. Sure. You step through the gate, you got balls. Cause baby, it's just you. <coughs> yes. You leave me breathless. Weak in the knees, I feel in reckless, hard to be free. Fall out slow. <coughs> Enjoy your stay. Baby, it's just you. Help me, help me, rescue my heart. Save me, save me, falling apart. Take me. Buddy McCready's got a rep here in Good Neighbor. Bad attitude. Good aim. Yes? Huh? I don't have no handouts. Smell that? That's freedom. Yeah. Buying customers out. Yeah. Surprises, aren't you?
Yeah? Well, looks like we got another freak just won't fit anywhere else. Order up, or forever hold your damn mouth shut. Sure. Let's take a look. Here's the drowning solos. Now that you're liquored up, got a proposition for you. I need a dirty girl to do some dirty, dirty work. Blood on the pavement, bodies in the ground, that kind of thing. Interested? I want to hear the details first. I got a certain anonymous client who's paying top dollar for a clean-up job. Three locations. Everyone inside. No witnesses. Only catch? It's all in town. The old warehouses, so I can't use my regulars. Too noticeable. That's where you come in. The job's 200 caps. Payment after it's done. And don't worry. I'll know when it is. I don't do work. Unless I know who's paying the bills. All right, Gov. Not like it's a big secret who I represent. Mayor Hancock is fronting the caps. Internal political struggle. You know how it is. Look, it's nothing you need to be concerned about. Just clear out the warehouses and get paid. Simple. I'll get it done. <laughs> you better. Now go out there and bust some heads. Hey, Charlie. What'll it be? Do you know Emma Jean Cabot? Name rings a bell. Kind of balmy. Haven't seen her in a while, though. Try Magnolia. She likes to make friends with people. She might know more about this missing bird. Hey, Magnolia. You're looking for me? What can I do for you? Do you know Emma Jean Cabot? That depends on why you're looking for her. Her family's worried that something's happened to her. <laughs> I'm glad somebody's looking out for her. She seemed like a body that could use looking after. Do you know where she's gone? There was this preacher fellow who used to come in here all the time. One of the slick ones. Always going on about remaking your life and so on. Most of the customers wouldn't give him the time of day, but Emma Jane, she latched on to him for some reason. I don't suppose it hurt that he was easy on the eyes. Mmm, intense. Some women find that irresistible. Pam, would you come over here a minute? Is there a problem, Miss Magnolia? No. This lady here was just looking for Emma Jean. Do you happen to know where that uh, preacher fella came from? Hmm. Brother Thomas. Yes, that's right. The one Emma Jean was always hanging on. Had to throw him out. Wouldn't stop bothering customers with that salvation racket. Kept going on and on about joining him at the back bay. Then he'd shove those stupid flyers in your face. Here, I kept one of them. Just in case he didn't pay his bar tab. Mm. Well, thanks, honey. You were a big help. Anything for you, miss. I hope Evan Jean's all right. I didn't much like the idea of her going off with that preacher fellow. Hell of a load you're carrying. Better sell some to Daisy before someone swipes it. I toss out the troublemakers. Keep that in mind.
Detective Valentine. Nick. Listen. I'm Hey, you. You like scary stories? Head up to Salem sometime. Take the scenic tour. Look. Huh? Don't have no hand out. Trying to stay on good behavior here. Need a place to stay? Try hotel restaurant. You all right, sister? Find anything useful on him?
Trash him! Playing games, huh? Fun. Hey. Where'd the little bitch go? Hey there. Welcome, neighbor. We're always glad to see the a new face, face around we leave, here. Huh? Tell me something. You ever feel like this whole world is broken? Do you ever wonder why things can't be the way they were in the good old days? I'm just looking for Emogene Cabot. Oh, I'm sorry, but Emogene is indisposed right now. She's not seeing visitors. Her family's worried about her. You can tell them that she's fine. Not that it's any of your business, but she and I are just having a little relationship trouble. You know how it is. <laughs> she's not seeing anybody until she cools off. You're not holding her prisoner, are you? No, she's not a prisoner. She's just locked in her room until she calms down. She was acting crazy, threatening to run off. No offense, uh, but you know how women can get sometimes. I'm a friend of the family. Maybe I can talk some sense into her. Blah, blah, blah. Why are you even talking to these morons? I said she wasn't seeing anybody, including you. I'm going to see her, one way or another. Your choice. Maybe they'd rather spend the last few seconds of their lives with a gaping hole in their chest. Wow. You went right to throwing your weight around. I thought we were friends. If you want to see her so bad, don't let me stand in your way. Here, I'll unlock the door for you.
She's all yours, neighbor. You must be Emma Jean. Don't tell me. Jack sent you. You're Jack's sister? <clears throat> I was expecting someone a bit... younger. How rude. Don't you know to never mention a lady's age? Just to be clear, I'm Jack's younger sister, the baby of the family. Once I get home and get some of Jack's serum, I'll be back to my usual stunning self. Jack has a serum that reverses aging? It really isn't any of your business. And I know it was Jack who sent you. He's always trying to control me. It wasn't Jack. It was your mother who wanted you found. I'm fine, as you can see. I was just waiting to see if Thomas would come to his senses. But since you've already gone to all this trouble, I may as well leave now. I was bored with Thomas anyway. He seemed so interesting at first. But after we got here, he turned out to be just another brute. He actually thought it could force me to join his absurd cult. Let's get out of here. Oh, I'm not going with you. You can tell Mother I'll be along home before too long. I just need a drink first.